This is the Crosley E10BEAM radio. And all the way to the left is the loop antenna, and the signals from the AM stations get applied to one of the grids of V1. And below V1 is the oscillator. It also has an output, and it gets applied to the control grid of V1. Now these two frequencies mix together, and the first IF is tuned very sharply to 455 KC. So that's what passes through, gets picked off from V1. Now it gets passed over to the control grid of V2. It amplifies this 455 kilohertz signal and passes it on amplified to the second IF. And the secondary of this IF is also tuned to 455, but because of the diode at pin 5 of V5, it gets changed to audio. And we'll come back to that diode a little later. Now this audio gets applied to the high side of the volume control. The audio goes through the volume control to the control grid of V5. V5 amplifies this audio, sends it over to V4, to the control grid, and V4 amplifies it enough to drive an audio speaker. Now let's take a closer look at this diode on pin 5 of V5. If there was no diode in the circuit at the secondary of the second IF can, this is what we would have we would have a 455 kilohertz carrier. And on this carrier is the audio information. We've got modulated 455 kilohertz carrier. And it's amplitude modulation. In other words, it changes the height of the carrier according to the audio. Now, as you can see here, we've got positive audio and we got negative audio. And if we drew lines along here, we would see that this audio information, we've got as much positive as we've got negative. And because of that, it pretty well cancels each other out, the information. So we do have a diode here in this circuit. And that cuts this right in half. So now the audio information does not add up to zero anymore and we can hear the audio. Now you might ask, well why did they take the negative audio? Well that's because of the AVC circuit. Either the positive or the negative audio would work, but they taken the negative voltage because it's very handy to use in the AVC automatic volume control circuit. And if you look at R3, it's a 2.2 meg resistor, this negative audio goes through R3 and it gets stored in the capacitor below there at, it's the dot zero eight microfarad capacitor. Now the stronger the station, the more negative the voltage. And look where else it goes. That negative voltage goes through the secondary of the first IF and gets applied to the control grid of V2. It also goes over through the loop antenna to a grid on V1. And on both of these, the higher the negative voltage, both tubes will amplify less. So that's the automatic volume control. Now on a weak station, there'll be less negative voltage and both tubes will amplify more. So this is how a diode 
can detect audio from a 455 kilohertz modulated signal. Thanks for watching.